going on? Everybody good? Can y'all hear me? Uh, I want to thank y'all guys for this opportunity. Y'all give ASAP a round of applause for putting this together. I am so thrilled to be here. I'm so excited at the opportunity. Um, now for the bad news. I know you heard my credentials at the White House and all that, but I'm not going to be before you guys that long. Um, the reason I say that because I'm only a part-time comedian. I like being part-time because I'm lazy by nature, so I don't have to work as hard or as long as the full-time people. The only downside, though, is that um, I'm not on salary. So I have to get very creative in the way I make money doing comedy. So this year, I've come up with a very innovative way to make more money. Um, that I start charging people like, like by the joke. So, so back to my opening statement, I'm not going to be before y'all long. Not because I don't want to, I'm not talented enough. It's just the non-mission essential pay they gave me to come here to perform. Unfortunately, it only allows me to tell three jokes. I'm sorry. I'm glad y'all laughed because that was my first joke. I ain't got but two left. The rest of y'all better get on board. Every time you laugh or smile, I subtract a joke. In conclusion, I want to say thank y'all for this opportunity. Y'all go on to our little show. But I'm good to be here. Everybody tonight that's on the show is a military veteran. Do we have any veterans in the audience? Just raise your hand. Let's give our veterans a round of applause. I want to thank all the veterans for your service. If nobody told you they love you, I love you for the sacrifice you made for this great nation. And I want to say all the veterans, y'all look good. Um, they look good tonight. Because this ain't how veterans look when they go down to that VA hospital to file their disability claims. I don't dress like this when I go to the VA. You got to go down there like you need that money. The VA act like the money belonged to them. First time I went down there, I didn't know you could get paid for a disability. The lady told me I had to take a disability exam. I said, ma'am, I feel fine. She said, fool. You need to take this exam because based on the results would determine your disability rating. This would be the amount of money you get every month for the rest of your life. I said, for real? She showed me that pay chart. I said, I can get all that money. She said, based on the results. So I did the same thing the veterans did. I went home and practiced. I came back the next day. The first test they gave me, ma'am, cover my left eye. Look at the chart on the back wall. Start at the top, read left to right. It sounded like it's easy, but I had the money on my mind, you know. I'm at the VA talking about some, uh, look like a three, a cross, the number one, I said T. Took my hand and I said, wait a minute, exit? Did they say, fool, we back here. I said, let me try again. Uh, I had to ask her, how much money did that get me, you know? The second test they gave me, y'all may be familiar with this test. They put me in this little phone booth, put these headphones on me, gave me this little button to push, a little hearing test. Now, I hope nobody here tonight work at the VA. Or we ain't got no snitches here. Because I'm about to be transparent. I heard every last one of them beeps came through them headphones. I didn't push that button for nothing. <laughs> Do y'all know I left that appointment with two hearing aids and a dog? <laughs> and 40% disability. I don't thank the VA for this watch they bought me. I appreciate them decorating me this evening. <laughs> hey, what joke is that? Two or three, I don't want to go my little Groupon money they gave me. <laughs> but I don't like going to the VA. Some of the doctors are not certified. They don't take care of us. Before the pandemic, I went down there for my annual. Um, the lady said, today's your lucky day. I said, why is that? She said, I got to check your prostate. I said, whatever you got to do to keep me healthy, that's what you do. Now, I said that, but I didn't even know what a prostate was. Nonetheless, where it was located on my body. I said, Doc, what's a prostate exam? She said, Fred, don't even worry about it. Three-second cavity search. I said, I can save you three seconds because I just went to the dentist. I've been flossing the brush, and I ain't got but one cavity. But you can check it. When she told me the cavity she had to ch check, I said, the devil is a lie. But I'm a man up and be healthy. I'm going to take one for the team. So I turn around to brace myself for this male pap smear. That's what I call it. I'm bracing myself. Now, I don't know much about prostate protocol, but I'm pretty sure before you check the victim, I mean the patient, you're supposed to get him ready. She didn't kiss me on the neck, grind on me. She ain't send me no love letter, nothing. She ain't numb the area or anything. I'm standing there. She put that little glove on in that jail. She took two steps toward me. My PTSD kicked in. I started shaking like a stripper. I said, Lord Jesus, I hope she don't want two songs. <laughs> then she gonna ram me. When she ran me, I pulled all that little tissue paper off the bed. I clamped down like a vice grip. Went up on my tippy toes. 
took two steps, looked back, and had took her medical glove and her wedding ring off. I took all that off. She walked out laughing. This way it get crazy. I don't know nothing about anatomy. I have an engineering degree. I thought, sir, when she checked me, she accidentally like flipped my gender switch button. No, because when I pulled my pants and tried to take two steps, I started walking like this here. I said, no, I didn't authorize that surgery. You got to switch me back. Switch me back. I didn't authorize that, doc. Are you guys ready for your next performer? All right, I got a thing I always do. Before I introduce anybody, I'm going to say, are you guys ready for your next performer? You guys say, yes, we support our vets. Can we do that? Are you guys ready for your next performer? Yes. Okay, maybe y'all didn't hear me with this little thing on. I'm going to say, are you guys ready for your next performer? We need everybody to say, yes, we support our vets. We have to keep the energy high for all these performers, okay? You guys ready for your next performer? Yes, we support our vets. It's going to be a long class. Um, 